What's up? It's Eric. I'm out here with Arm Italian EXB 6S uh, RTR. Uh, it's an amazing truck. Absolutely sexy uh, uh, truck overall. Uh, great body work again with the EXB graphics. This is the second run of this truck. Um, the first run I had an absolute blast. Um, if you guys check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, no, uh, no major issues with the truck. Um, I did go ahead and make a couple changes. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm really digging these uh, belted guitars. Uh, you know, there's no ballooning. Um, the rims have held up too. I've had a few guys ask me about the wheels, uh, if they've cracked and stuff, but so far I haven't had any, any uh, issues with the wheels. I was doing some pretty vertical launches with the truck in the first video. Uh, but what I did do is I switched out, because uh, stock is 10,000, 100,000, 10,000. I put 30,000 in the front. Still got the stock 110 in the back there. Um, and I also added in the uh, 1316 uh, diff shim right here just to tighten up that ring and pinion in the front since uh, since the gears have kind of wore in a little bit. Um, I do plan on doing the back. I just haven't uh, dug into the back diff yet. I'm gonna kind of give this a test just to see how everything handles. And another change I made too, it's kind of hard to see in the camera, especially with the light the way it is, but the arm right here, uh, it's kind of getting tore up from the cup. I dig into the arm, especially under full compression like this. Because uh, the arm can also flex and then cause uh, cause it to dig out the arm and also your uh, your drive shaft could pop out. So what I did is I put in, I just used this uh, boat cooling line right here because I have a lot of RC boats. So I have a lot of this on hand. You can use a gas line, stuff like that, and uh, and put down here at the bottom of the shock to basically make a bump stop so that you don't have, so that uh, it stops the compression right about there so you don't overextend everything. But anyway, that's the only two changes I made. Um, Still stock electronics, 20 tooth pinion. I'm gonna punch seven on the ESC. I don't wanna go max punch because I want this truck to be able to hold down some power uh, without going too crazy. So, all right guys, let's see what's up. Guys, this ground is uh, super rough out here. I'm nailing all kinds of rocks and uh, ruts and roots and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to drift her out nice. Talk about his landing flat in the mud. Ugh. Looks like we got something stuck to the chassis. <laughs> Look at that. That's like another five pounds worth of mud. Ugh. That was rough. Looks like she took it. Looks like that uh, new uh, new bumper took it all that hit.
old RC traps. <laughs> See the car. Pretty big jump. All right, guys, I threw in the Sky RC GPS just to kind of get an idea as far as uh, speed hitting the ramp and vertical height in the jumps. And I came in at uh, 62 feet of vertical height and 68 miles per hour hitting the ramp. So it's pretty cool to see that. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. <laughs> Another awesome time with this thing. Again, big shout out to Armin Horizon Hobby for giving me the opportunity to uh, run this truck and give it a give it a test. It's such an amazing rig out of the box. Uh, super strong, super tough. Um, I did uh, warp the chassis just a hair in the back, uh, just to be honest, but that's that's strictly from these high speed, you know, near 70 mile an hour ramp launches, which puts a lot of G-force on that chassis and a lot of, a lot of hit right there coming off the lip. But uh, overall bashing, uh, big sins in the dirt, any kind of wrecks, I mean, everything's held up on the truck perfectly. Uh, no bends to, to the tires. Um, again, I did have to put in the little uh, uh, a bump stop right there at the shock because the uh, cup was digging into the arm. That was the only major issue that I saw with the truck. Um, I will go in and uh, I'll make a few more changes to the, to the diff setup with the oils. I'm not quite happy with the handling yet overall for my style of driving and, uh, and the terrain that I drive in. Again, I did put the 30,000 up front. Still got the stock 110 in the back. Um, I may thicken the back up a little bit um, and then maybe the front as well. Probably leave the 100 in the center for now, but all we can do is just test and tune and to see what fits our personal needs the most. But this truck is awesome. I love it. And uh, we'll get out again soon. All right, guys, until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.